Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. Hope you're all doing well today. Uh, I want to wish a happy birthday to Mike at the Inked Gardener. Um, don't know Mike personally. Um, actually, to off the top of my head, I couldn't even tell you where Mike lives. I know it's down in the States, but I'm not going to try to guess because I'll probably be wrong. But uh, yeah, every interaction I've ever had with Mike and his partner have always been excellent interactions. Seems like a really good guy and seems to be kind of a, I don't want to say jack of all trades because his name's Mike, but uh, I see a lot of diversity on uh, on your Facebook page, a lot of neat projects, a lot of awesome pepper projects, renovations, seems like you're into a lot of really cool hobbies and projects, so that's really cool. I um, want to wish you a happy birthday today, Mike. Hope you have a great day, an awesome week, and a wonderful year. Um, so let's get to a hot sauce review today. Pretty stoked about this one for sure. Been eyeballing this one for, oh, I don't know, a couple months now. <laughs> this is our second sauce in Pepper North's rebranded lineup. This is Salsa Roja and Ghost. I know some people roll their R in Roja, but you know, I don't have an accent. Well, I do, I have a Canadian accent, I suppose. <laughs> but, anyways, this is Pepper North's reimagined sauce. This used to be no joke, but they've dialed up the heat a little bit, changed around the ingredients a little bit, and um, I think should be a very interesting sauce, very good sauce. I always liked no joke, so I'm really stoked to try this one. I'm going to read to you what they wrote on their Facebook page when they um, unveiled the rebranding of this product. Goodbye, no joke, hello, salsa, Roja and Ghost. No Joke was our very first hot sauce, the one that started it all, with its commercial release on April 4th, 2015. Seven years later, and it still remains our best selling. However, also the one we receive the most complaints about, the original intention of the No Joke name was to convey that it was not a joke hot sauce and it was focused on flavor first. Over the years, we have found that the vast majority of customers took it to mean that it was a joke hot sauce and it expected a mind-numbing heat, even though ghost peppers are listed far down on the ingredients list. Welcome Salsa and Roja, sorry, sorry, Salsa Roja and Ghost, a name that we think perfectly describes this sauce. Fresh Ontario tomatoes, red bell peppers, onions, garlic, and lime juice make up the base of this sauce much like the traditional Hispanic salsa. In the addition of Ontario grown ghost peppers, sorry, the addition of Ontario grown ghost peppers brings the heat to a comfortable level for most average daily hot sauce aficionados. With this revamp, the recipe is unchanged. However, we have increased the heat by roughly 20% with the addition of even more Ontario grown ghost peppers. Sounds good. Hear those birds? Those are doves. They say hoo 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 over and over. And they do a funny groan. I don't know, gravelly groan. Almost sounds like a crow, but like a sick crow. It's kind of funny. Kind of annoying sometimes, but you gotta just laugh. They're the peace doves, right? <laughs> you can't be annoyed by the peace doves. So, I'll show you the label here. It's a very very simple, very simplistic, I guess you could say, label. Um, very easy to look at. It does, doesn't take you long to really look at it and just have a look at it. <laughs> um, family owned since 2013, vegan, proudly Canadian, gluten-free, no preservatives. I like that. Straight up, right across the band there. Um, for ideas, peppernorth.com. Cool. I've actually seen some of the recipe ideas on their Facebook, sorry, on their YouTube page. They have some short videos and whatnot. Um, I suppose I can ring, ring, I just read the word ring. I can read what's written on the bottle here. It has been said that from humble beginnings come great things. This rings especially true at Pepper North, where we have been crafting delicious sauces since 2013. With a flair for creativity and a passion for innovation, our products have grown from our hometown of Oshawa to rave reviews across Canada and beyond. From our family to yours. Enjoy. Disfruta. So, yeah. Nice orange to green to 
sort of orange fade at the top there. I don't know. It looks like something that you'd see at a locally made farmer's market sort of a thing. Like a, if I was to see like a, a made in Kamloops hot sauce. Like, you know, I don't know. It looks, it's not overdone. It's, it's simple. It te tells you what you need to know about the sauce. Um, and then you have a nice view. Actually, we'll remove the shrink wrap so we can look at the sauce even better here. Um, let's get the shrink wrap off here. Oh yeah, you might have noticed I'm wearing some different sunglasses today. <laughs> I found these in the green ram actually when I cleaned it out. They were pretty dirty when I found them, so I gave them a good cleaning. Figured I'd wear them on a video for fun. I don't know, there's nothing wrong with them. They're leopard print, they're pretty sweet. I guess that's leopard print, I don't know. Pretty sweet though, they're almost the exact same shape as my other sunglasses, but they're definitely like cheap quality, but I'll rock them, I don't mind. Keeps the sun out of my eyes. <laughs> oh, almost dropped the no-go, uh, no joke, the no-ghost. <laughs> um, there's a slight difference in color. There's the new one here. Slightly brighter. Slightly, yeah, lighter colored red, almost more like an orange. They're both kind of like an orange, but let's give it a good shaky shake for Silas and Joe and Joya. The family get heating up. Oh, and let's read the ingredients, shall we? We kind of did. That just that very nice description really tells you what's going on there. But I'll read the ingredients anyways. Ingredients are tomatoes, bell pepper, onion, lime juice, apple cider vinegar, ghost peppers, sea salt, garlic, and black pepper. It's made in Oshawa, Ontario, Canada. A lot of good hot sauce companies and products coming out of Oshawa. I noticed that. I noticed these things. It's a nice colored sauce, like a bright, vibrant salsa. Get our pepper nor spoon out. I'm also wearing my long sleeve pepper nor shirt today. It's actually nice and cool out, which is perfect. It was sunny when I was setting up, and then it clouds rolled in and it cooled off very nicely. So let's give you a nice pour of this. Great consistency. It's chunky, but it's not thin. So it kind of stands up in the spoon there. Give you a nice view of that. Look at that. Great looking sauce. So, from Pepper North in Oshawa, Ontario, Canada, this is Salsa Roja and Ghost. Heat my shorts. close-up pour. We don't do that one very often, do we? Come on. A little more. A little bit of a sting. Great tomato flavor. Mmm. Very nicely balanced sauce. It's got a really nice sweetness to it. Nice natural sweetness from the tomato and the onion and even that lime juice, I guess. Little bit of a sting in the back of the throat. Sting on the tip of the tongue and the back of the throat. When I talked there, it was kind of trying to steal my breath there. I'm going to have another spoonful of this. Um, first, I'm going to give you my heat reading. This is a 1 out of 10 for me. Absolutely a 1 out of 10. Maybe even a 2. I could call this a 2 out of 10 on my heat scale. 
because I can even feel a slight warmth in my chest from it. Wow. There's a couple of little birdies right behind the camera on the shed, like right there. Okay, so yeah, one or two, I'll, I'll say a two out of ten. We're already ten minutes in, that's hilarious. I guess we read the thing. Average habanero consuming chili head, probably find this to be... Yeah, five or a six out of ten. I think that's a great heat rating for somebody that enjoys their hot sauces. Somebody that's not new to hot sauces. Oh, that's a pretty bird. <laughs> um, somebody that's new or sensitive to spicy foods, you could find this to be quite spicy. You could find this to be... A seven or an eight out of ten, maybe? It's hard to say. Actually, maybe a four or a five. I would say maybe a four or a five for a habanero consuming chili head. And then a six or a seven for somebody that's new to spicy foods. Great flavor. I'm going to have some more of this now that I'm done with the heat rating. Because this is delicious. It's like a spicy tomato soup. A mildly spicy tomato soup. Oh, that's a good spoon. right? Yep. Getting a little bit of that garlic, a little bit of that onion. The lime. I wouldn't say I'm specifically tasting the bell pepper, but that's just because there's pepper, um, hot peppers and tomatoes in there, and those kind of probably just bring it all to life. Really adds some... It tastes so fresh. Honestly, it tastes like a super fresh spicy tomato soup. And I say spicy, like, because it has a bit of spice, not as in it's going to hurt you. I could drink this whole bottle, I'll be honest with you. It's got a very, very, very slight bitter, because there are seeds in it. It's peppers, right? Ghost peppers are slightly bitter. I'm not specifically tasting the ghost pepper, but you definitely, there's no question that there is a spice in this. A heat spice. A spicy spice. <laughs> this is delicious. Totally reminds me of a tomato soup. I know I've said that probably three or four times now, but... Flavor rating. Let's give this a flavor rating. That's a 9 out of 10, for sure. Definitely a 9 out of 10. It's absolutely delicious. I wouldn't change anything about the flavor of it. Absolutely. Um... They've revamped it, and I like it way more. I didn't dislike it before. It was... It's your... Um, it's an original recipe, but it's most similar to other hot sauces than your, your, you know, your generic hot sauce, your red sauce. But it's definitely got its own personality. It's not just a copy of your store-bought... You know, it is store-bought, but everyday, entry-level red sauce. It's like a tomato salsa, like a very fresh tomato salsa. I'm really hoping Maggie shakes her man bear pig around. That's why I put it there. Maggie, go get your piggy. There we go. Go get your piggy, Maggie. You get it. You get it. Oh, she wants her. <laughs> Perfect. Um, we'll talk while she does that. Um, would I recommend this? Yes, absolutely. Unless you're like allergic to tomatoes or you don't like tomatoes. If you like tomato soup, and you like spicy food, this is a hot sauce that you would definitely like. Um, yeah, slight sting on the tongue and the back of the throat and down into the chest. That's impressive. That's, that's spicier than it used to be. I will attest to that. And my tolerance is higher than it was before, like a year ago when I reviewed this too. What are you doing? Um, would I restock on this? Yes, I... We, as you can see, we re keep restocked on No Joke. And I like this even more than No Joke. So, like a lot of people, I love the old labels. They're awesome. They're so creative. They're so artistic. But I could see why people wouldn't be into them. You know, for if you're really being critical of it. I can definitely see why some of the names, some of the artwork, you know, No Joke is a little bit misleading. It does sound like it's going to be a super hot sauce. And it's, it's a flavorful one. Like they say, it's a delicious sauce. It's not a joke sauce. It's not a novelty sauce. Um, 
this video is kind of dragging out. Actually, it's not too bad. It's only 14 minutes. Um, would I restock on it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, would I pair it? Oh, I would definitely pair it. Where would I pair, pair this with? Definitely pizza. Use this as a base for a pizza underneath your toppings. That would be delicious. Um, pasta, same thing. Use it as a pasta sauce. That'd be so good. Or drizzle it on top. Nachos, yeah. Add it to some nachos for a fresh tomato, slight spice, delicious flavor. Um, tacos, burritos, breakfasts, eggs, um, a lot of things. This is a very versatile sauce. Pastas, I think I said that, I did say that. Lasagnas, um, that sound, that was that sound. Isn't that a good one? <laughs> That's a dove. <laughs> it's the peace bird. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what the parrot would pair it with. I would pair it with a parrot. I think that's probably illegal. I don't think you're supposed to eat parrots. <laughs> Not that you'd want to. I don't know. <laughs> they, they talk, right? <laughs> Sorry. We think, we think about weird things in this household, in this mind. And sometimes they just say what comes to my mind. <laughs> sometimes I say some pretty funny things, I'll be honest with you. What are you doing, cutie? Look at her. She's got her boo-boo whale. Yeah, we'll address that in the comments. <laughs> the boo-boo whale. <laughs> That's so cute. She loves that thing. Thank you, Debbie. Um, and I'm loving this sauce. This sauce is delicious. Um, also, I want to mention, there's on right now on Pepper North's Instagram and Facebook page, there's a coupon code for 50% off pepper seeds to grow your own peppers. That's going until May 1st. So not a lot of time left, but definitely worth looking into. They have an awesome variety of seeds there. So definitely check that out. Check out their social media pages. Check out their Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Um, a lot of good stuff all, all around. And they're really good people. So I'm going to wrap this video up here. We kind of got a little bit of a hangout. Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> A <laughs> little bit of a hangout there with Maggie, sort of. Maybe I'll step back a little bit. Hey, Maggie. Can I have a high five? Good girl. Hey. Are you a good girl? <laughs> what is this? Hey. Are you such a good girl? She's feeling so much better. She's, she's good. She's, yeah. She's feeling good. <laughs> You're a good girl, Maggie. Hee. That was the dove, not me. So anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up before we get to 20 minutes. In this corner, you will see our Heat My Shorts logo. Make sure you click subscribe if you haven't already. In this corner, I'm going to leave Pepper North's YouTube channel. Hop over there. A lot of people don't know that they have a YouTube channel. And they got some awesome videos, some um, recipe suggestions, some chats, some good stuff. And up here, two relevant playlists for you to enjoy. I love you all. We will hang out again soon, I promise. This has been Heat My Shorts with Steve and Maggie, The Maggie Show. Bye-bye.